We're a 24 seven operation. And so mm -hmm. when the rest of the world may be doing other things, we are still up ensuring that we're following best practices and corrections. The Montgomery County Department of Correction and Rehabilitation recently received the highest level of reaccreditation from the American Correctional Association. DOCR scored a perfect 100% in all 60 of the ACA's mandatory standards for adult local detention facilities. Of ACA's 309 non-mandatory standards, DOCR received a stellar 98.4% rating. Councilmember Don Ludke, a member of the Council's Public Safety Committee, visited the Montgomery County Correctional Facility in Clarksburg to discuss the reaccreditation with DOCR Director Ben Stevenson. Talk to me a little bit about how this process helps you in terms of self-reflection too and adapting to any new um, best practices that might be on the horizon. It's always positive to have outside experts come in and look at your operations. Oftentimes they may see things that you didn't see or new emerging trends in which they identify for us and they help us or guide us in getting us to that accreditation and they also provide us with insight. What they're seeing is national trends or local trends. So you've had your accreditation with that national gold standard, mm -hmm. if you will, for over 40 years now. Absolutely. Um, working for Montgomery County Department of Corrections, we have a long history of compliance with the top standards and best practices. And this tells the world, it tells us, it tells our employees that what we do is the best of what we do. We're here in the area of where most of our reentry services take place. We have a computer learning lab, we have classrooms, and we also have our library. And noted through our audit mm -hmm. is how many jails have two master level librarians right. within a facility where there's some states that may have only one in the entire state. What goes on here at the library? We uh, provide uh, incarcerated individuals with opportunities for recreational reading. Also, very important, points of law library service. The population here will have an opportunity to do their own research from a librarian standpoint, mm -hmm. teachable moments, sure, challenges sure. with computer literacy and literacy mm -hmm. in general. Our bakery program went into effect this past summer and we are teaching not only bakery skills, but restaurant skills mm -hmm. and other culinary art skills to prepare them better prior to release. We're gonna use this space to teach and train and we mm -hmm. have our chef with the bakery program. She will oversee all these operations in this space. I love the so, sign. Yeah. Feeling yeah, county, we just, bake we the just put these in here. <laughs> Those are fun. Some of our inmates have volunteered to do a mural and it's to celebrate learning new skills, mm -hmm. celebrate success. These are our preparation areas here for the bakery program. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of muffin tins. We have kitchen workers uh, anywhere from 14 to 20 on a shift to okay. prepare meals for the whole staff. Okay. We have a kitchen manager that has to be a dietitian to make mm -hmm. sure that we are following a prescribed menu that meets standards as well. And that kind of goes to our accreditation. And do you find that some of them start to develop an affinity for a particular aspect of food prep? Um, definitely baking and mm -hmm. cooking. A lot of them like the customer service part in ODR because mm -hmm. um, it gives them that interaction as a restaurant. Sure. And a lot of times they come in, we tell them we do this job just like a restaurant or job on the street. Right. But they can get used to because uh, unfortunately food service, construction jobs, they like is the most lenient towards the vendor. Mm -hmm. so, a lot of them do take pride when I learn something because they will help to have a trade to stay out of here. We have a, a very healthy proportion of case managers that work intensely and work release coordinators that help identify and help coach people into jobs in which they can transition into the community for. Warehouse workers, mm -hmm. um, they want to be personal trainers, construction, hospitality, food service. So we're kind of dealing with a lot of different industries. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of trying to cater to those individual needs while also keeping it in a group basis because right. we do have limited time here with sure. them. Talk to me about how the group setting plays out when they're when you're working with a group together. We kind of just do things that deal with the skills that they need to make sure that when they go out there, when they go into their fields, wherever they go, they are effective as can be. They you noted the good work of the security staff because mm -hmm. you can't do a lot of these programs without having good security and good public safety within your institution. Right now. 
are engaging from low-level officers all the way up through administration in that process to be able to uh, participate in that. And so it's not housed with just my position alone. Right. Um, and so right. we want everybody to understand the why to uh, <laughs> about what they do every single day and how that affects accreditation and standards and the professionalism and the, the best correctional practices that we do every day. We want sure. to continue to be a, a national model and represent uh, Montgomery County. So we feel great about uh, where we are with reaccreditation and we'll continue that process throughout the future. This is a community approach and it's very important for those that are interested. Uh, our website is comprehensive. It has information to contact us if anyone's ever interested in being part of helping those within our walls. Excellent, thank you.